So the medications Larry takes for his Parkinson's are thousands of dollars. Uh, every time I refill a prescription, um, it's about $3,000. And the deep brain stimulation was about a quarter million dollars. And then every time Larry's batteries run down and need to be replaced, it's probably around $80,000. Larry's at the point where he's having so much trouble walking now. He takes 20 pills a day. And this is the week we've called the physician to increase his cinnamon dose. And that will increase his side effects. My, uh... Symptoms are a great deal more obvious than they were before. And the pain is a little sharper. Hello? Hi, Hi Larry. My name is Dr. Blake. Myra Smith. If this is the only thing, and as far as I know, we've tried everything, and this is the only thing um, that's left, and so we are, we are going to give it a go and see how it goes. How are you feeling? It's been a bit of a rough week. Really? And the best way to take it is to put it under your tongue and rub it in your cheek. Don't do too much. You're going to be asleep all, all afternoon. You know what you should do? No. Don't try to communicate. Just relax. See what happens. We know from animal experiments that the endogenous cannabinoid system is very important in regulating motor activity, that very type of activity that is impaired in Parkinson's disease. From animal experiments, we also know that boosting certain branches of the endocannabinoid system is helpful in relieving symptoms of Parkinson's. I think you're calmed down. So quickly. Isn't that amazing? He used just a single drop, and his hands afterwards were rock steady, and the dyskinesia left. Mm -hmm. It was coming back. It works most of the time. In fact, it's... Uh... <laughs>